Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about navigation in Flutter. There are two versions of navigation built into Flutter. We have Flutter's original navigation and routing mechanism, which is version 1.0. That's the one that was originally built into Flutter. And then they've come up with a version 2.0, which uses a declarative approach. Now, when you hear 1.0 and 2.0, you might actually think that you're supposed to use 2.0. You usually use the newer versions of things. But actually, version 1.0 is fully supported, and you might want to use 1.0 if you're doing like a simpler application. So we're going to go through both versions today. So the first thing we're going to do is just a very simple example just to get us started. We're going to type in void main run app. We'll call it nav app. Then I'll do a stateless widget here. We're going to go ahead and create another stateless widget down here. We're going to call it first screen. And then we'll create one more down here and call it second screen. Back up here in nav app, we're going to take this container and we're going to create a material app. And then in the home, we're just going to call this first screen. Down here inside first screen, we're now going to do a scaffold. And we'll do an app bar here. And then we're going to put an elevated button in the body. So running that, we now see that we have our app bar that says first screen and our button to go to the second screen but obviously the button doesn't work at the moment. So now let's go down here in the second screen and set it up as well. We're gonna do a scaffold in it as well. With an app bar. We'll say second screen. Okay, so we have the scaffold set up in the second screen now. Now we can wire up the elevated button in the first screen to navigate to the second screen. We'll go into this on pressed here. And we're just gonna type in navigator.push. We'll set a context. And then we're gonna do a material page route. So this will push the user to the second screen. We'll come over here to our example and I'll click on go to screen two. And it worked. We're now on the second screen. And then you can press this button right here to return back to the first screen at the moment. But we're going to also wire this up here in a second. So down here in the second screen on pressed. We're gonna type in navigator.pop. Now we should be able to go to screen two and then return to screen one. And we can also easily remove this back button here. We'll go into the app bar here. And we will type in automatically imply leading. We'll set that to false. So now first screen, go to second screen. We don't have the back button anymore, but we can return using this button right here. So that's the absolute simplest version of Navigator I can show you. You push to a screen and you pop to return to a screen. But in the 1.0 version of Navigation, you can also use named routes. So I'll show you that now. So the first thing we'll do is go into nav app here and we'll make some modifications to the material app. We're gonna first set an initial route. And then we will set up our routes right here. The first one we'll do is the forward slash, which we will set to the first screen. And then we'll set up one, we'll just name second. And we'll point that to the second screen. 
down here into the button to go to screen two, we're going to remove this navigator.push here. And we're going to do a navigator.push named. So now as you see, we have navigator.push named with context and we're going to push to the second screen. We're going to restart the app and we should still now be able to go to screen two. And return to screen one should work as well. So now let's take a look at version 2.0 of Flutter's navigation. We're just going to convert our existing code to work using the 2.0 version for now. So we can do this a handful of ways. Let's start by converting nav app from a stateless widget to a stateful widget. We'll right mouse click on it and do refactor and convert to stateful widget. Then inside nav app state, inside the material app, we're going to remove all of this and we're going to do a home and we're gonna say navigator. We're gonna set up some pages. We'll set up a material page with a child of first screen. So if we restart the app now, still looks the same, but nothing's going to work at the moment. So up here at the top of nav app state, we're going to set a variable. We're going to have a boolean that is, um, is first screen and we will set it to true. And then we're going to create a function right here. We're going to call set first screen. We'll do a set state and we'll set is first screen equal to screen value. So since we have two screens in the tutorial, we only need to know if it's the first screen or not. What might be a more practical use here is maybe setting this to active screen and then active screen could be one. And then when you want to go to the second screen, you set the active screen to two. There are a number of ways you can do this. This is just a very simple version to give you an introduction to the 2.0 version of of navigation. So down here in the navigator now, we're going to set a condition here. If is first screen equals false, we're going to do another material page. And we're going to set it to second screen. So you'll notice we don't have a condition on this first one. The reason we don't have a condition on this first one is because we want it to load in memory, even if we're going to the second screen, so we can pop back to that first screen if we want to. So now we need to pass this set first screen function down into the stateless widget. Right here on first screen, we're gonna remove this, and I'm gonna type in final function set first screen. Then we'll look to receive set first screen. And then we will clear out this on pressed here. And we can now just say set first screen equal to false. Now we need to tell it to send set first screen down. So what's going to happen now is material apps going to load. The navigator is going to load and we have this material page here that's going to load first screen and send the function set first screen down. So we receive it here, set it into here. And then when somebody presses this button to go to screen two, it calls that function and sets first screen to false. So if set first screen is false, then we know that we need to be on the second screen. So when it reloads, is first screen is going to be false and it's going to show the second screen instead. Let's restart the app. I'm going to click on go to screen two. And there we go. It went to the second screen, but you'll notice the back button doesn't work. So one way that we can get the back button to work is we can comment out or delete this line that says automatically imply leading. That's going to bring back the back button. And then up here in the navigator under pages, we need to add an on pop page. 
And then we will just return route did pop result. We'll restart that. We'll click on go to screen two and then we'll click the back button and it returns. And also because we added this on pop page here, now this return to screen one button is going to work as well as you'll see. But we're gonna go ahead and wire up screen two to work like screen one so you can have the full example of how that works. So once again, up here at the top of second screen, we'll do final function set first screen. We'll receive that. Down here in the on pressed, we're now going to do set first screen to true. And then up here in the navigator, we'll have to add set first screen to the call. So we'll restart the app and then I'm going to click to go to screen two. And then I'm going to go return to screen one. And it looks like it's working correctly. Almost. If I go to screen two and then I hit this back button and then I hit hot reload, it still goes to the second screen. So in this on pop page, we need to also reset this is first screen value. So we'll first take this and we'll set up pop status and then we'll do if pop status equals true. We're going to set the first screen to true and then we'll return pop status like it was doing originally. So now if we restart the app and we click go to screen two and we click the back button and then we hot reload, it stays on the first screen like it's supposed to. So that should give you a good introduction to Flutter navigation. In future videos, we're going to look at the Git or Git X routing. And we're also going to look deeper at Flutter's 2.0 version of navigation. So you might also like this a video right here. And if you're enjoying my videos and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. Thanks, and I hope to see you in the next one.